Once again, hello, and welcome to my playthrough of The Bunker. I believe this is episode 4, at least I think so, yeah. So, um, we've made it down to level 4, down here to the air filtration system. We've got our NPC suit on, we got all the radiation protective wear or clothes that we can have on, so I guess we'll have to start fixing this one, so let's get in here to the control room, I guess. Let's turn off the lights. Yeah. Oh, that's bright. Uh, let's check down here. Oh. Oh, another one. Accident book. The engineer. Engineer fixes all the problems down in this scary levels. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Let's check out this accident book. Accident report. Date 12th of August 92. 1910. Filed by F. Hurley. Ran scheduled test of backup filtration unit. Rad levels way too high on output. Over 500 rem. Red lights across the board. I thought it was a duff filter. I tried a new one. Same. Sacrificed a Geiger. Stuck it on a rod and ran it round inside the casing. We've got contaminated dust clogging the lower X duct. God knows how it got in. Might be a hairline, or maybe the filter just couldn't cope with the levels being so much higher than we expected. This is really, really bad. Without taking this apart, cleaning, resealing, and decontaminating the whole thing, it's useless. We have no backup air filtration system. But I can't see how we can do it. We don't have a clean space to do this in. The bishop just shrugs pretty much. Keep it quiet, Frank. You'll only worry people. Oh, for fuck's sake. What else isn't he telling us? Okay, so... <clears throat> Yeah, I still really don't know exactly what, you know, went down. <laughs> what went down down here, like 30, or maybe not 30 years ago. That's, that's the thing, I don't know when I became the last guy, you know, person, survivor in here. Well, you know, obviously when my mom died, but when did we became the last survivors? And why was it exactly, you know, just the two of us? That seems like an... A coincidence. I have this crazy theory that the mom is the crazy killer, but I don't think so. And I don't think it's Mr. Bishop as well, because that would be too obvious, so... But I guess we have to find out at some point, so... Let's just go along and see what's on this computer. Critical fault detected, main air filtration system, status active, filter effect effectiveness 71%, filter broken or obstruct, replace filter immediately, disconnect pressure at main valve before, valve before continuing. Okay, so we need to disconnect the pressure and we need to find a replacement filter. <laughs> And as the note said, that there's no backup air filtration system, so... Okay. Um, what else do I need to do? Do I need to press anything down here? Oh, that was it. <laughs> air filtration unit check. Day 18th of October 95. 1611. Check by PJT. Main filtration unit running okay. Cleaned out and replaced filters. Check back up just to be sure. Readings are a bit high, but Frank says no need to replace at the moment. Probably just as well. I'm concerned about our stock level of filters for the main unit. We're chewing through them a lot faster than Spec says, due to higher outdoor rads than expected. Frank says he'll have a word with Bishop about stocks and Sorting out the backup longer term. P. 
PJ. Okay, so I guess you know the engineers down here because I think this Frank guy is um what was her name? Carol Elizabeth's husband. And I remember her telling, you know, John's mom that that he was sick and she was getting sick, so um the main valve probably what? Oh shit, that's loud. Oh, that's hot. I need to turn off that steam. Yeah. Okay, do it over here then. Maybe. Yeah. Right, turning off the main pressure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> tap, 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 There you go. Check this one first. Uh, it looks like nothing. It's really eerie that breathing sound. But it's well made. There's something right here, there's something right here. Let's check this one out. Let's. Really? Okay. Uh oh, we're getting spikes. What is this? It's the filter, I know, but... Is this the broken one? It looks broken. Um... Do we need the any... Spare filters. Aha! I need to get rid of this damaged filter first. Oh, okay, okay, I know. In the trash thing. I think I could use these to fix the unit. Okay, I guess I need to replace them both. to turn the pressure valve back on.
what? What do I have to do? Come on! Oh. Oh shit. Something's about to, yeah. It broke, it breaks, it breaks. Oh, come on. Oh shit, what happened there? Get up, get up Tom and turn back on. Come on. John, not Tom, why do I keep him? Calling him Tom. He's coming. No. <laughs> Is this John or is this still a flashback? This is John, right? Yeah. He hit his hand. But come on, John. You need to pull the thing back on. That. I was about to say, would it be, be wouldn't it be creepy if we come back up and our mom is gone? <laughs> Get down there again. I don't know what it was, you know, what kind of valve it was that he turned, but it wasn't good. <laughs> and now we are going to die from horrendously radiation sickness or poisoning. What happened to our hand? Did, it, did we break it? Oh, poor John. <laughs> oh, it looks like a piece of glass. Breathe, John. You need to breathe. Oh, that's not gonna help you. Is it? Is this still working? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Quite deep. Oh, is it? Is it his bone? Yeah, it's probably his bone. Oh. 
Oh, I can't watch. I can't watch. Oh, shit, I'm an idiot. I have to do it. <laughs> Some of these times I don't know when I'm, it's in a, a cinematic or when I have to do it. Oh! diarrhea, liver failure, it's got to it be. It can't be radiation sickness. Look, these results... Of course it can. This place probably leaks like a sieve. It was built by the lowest bidder. No one thought there'd be a real war. I know Bishop said that we'll be safe here, but... Honestly, George, do you believe him? No. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. We've all been under a lot of pressure. Margaret. Where's the Lindane ointment? Look at that top left. You and Evelyn had it for Mrs. Harrison. Yes, but there were two unopened bottles there on Monday. We, we have to keep on top of the stop. We can't have... What is it? Nothing. <laughs> uh... I don't know. <laughs> Ointment, something. Medicine. I don't know what it is. Somebody probably stole it. Oh, John. Poor John. I need to find something up here. He remembers about uh, Lindain ointment. I think it's for, like, wounds and defecting it. This is the one, yeah. Uh, for topical vehicles, serious. Okay, I don't know. Is this also? No. Is it proof? Do not apply Lindain topical to open cuts or wounds. Doing this could cause too much medication. Well, don't don't use it. Ah, oh, okay. Something else in here. Uh, yeah, good choice, John. <laughs> I guess I was horribly wrong about that Lindane ointment. I thought it was about, you know, to, to clean and rinse wounds, but it said that we shouldn't use it on open wounds, and I guess, like, bone sticking out of your, your bone sticking out of your arm, con you know, is considered an open wound. So, I think we did the right thing. Opens in an emergency. Mm. 
warning. Uh oh. It is, isn't the end. The end. Radiation. That door sealed shut immediately. For Christ's sake, Margaret. Keep your little shit in his quarters before he explores the wrong place and gets us all killed. Seal that door immediately! Come on, Bishop. Where are you? You prick. Um. This might not be a good idea. Right through there again, I'm gonna Oh no he's been able to take some proper readings from the RA-14 sensors. They show we have a range of 700 to 1,000 rads for anyone exposed to the atmosphere. What, what does that mean? Well, anything over 200 rads can be fatal. No. How long before it's safe to go back up? I know. That's guess. 20 to 30 years. Ah, oh, 30 years. Yes. Sam? 
Can we last that long? Do we have enough food? Yes, you... Y yes, it'll, it'll be all right. We may have to ration a little, but it'll be all right. Mom? It's all right, darling. Everything's going to be fine. But... But 30 years, I think... A nuclear bomb, it will be like... 30 years? Maybe. Okay, I thought it was gonna be longer. The radiation map. Level 2, level 3. Where are we? Are we... A fire escape. It leads down to the other blast doors. Okay, we need to find the fire escape. But I think this is gonna be a good time to end it. We just, you know, before... I think we're coming to the end quite soon, so I think this is going to be a good time to stop it, and hopefully you enjoyed it so far, and look forward to the next episode, where we should find the fire escape, and hopefully escape, uh, and apparently it's it's safe now to, to, to go out, at least that's what they guessed, it's probably sure better than to be down here, uh, but just before we end up, I see this little guy down here, so let's pick it up. Alright, so anyway, see you in the next episode and take care. Bye bye.